to module number 20 we are going to talk about application life cycle management for business central we are learning mba 20 uh, you are learning with me dr gomati so i am going to cover the topic which i haven't covered in my previous videos okay so you can find my um, channel here gomes tech talks if you haven't subscribed it please go and subscribe now and uh, you can find mba 20 specifically we are preparing for mba 20 those videos will be available here okay and mba 20 practice questions you can also check here and previously i have discussed about microsoft dynamics 365 business central developer uh, the topics regarding the objects and everything in this particular playlist so a few topics which i have already covered here will be there in mba 20 okay so this is the complete learning path is here so i'm not um, covering those modules in a sequential order like one by one but what are the topics which i haven't covered uh, so far i am just focusing on that first okay so previously in the previous videos you can find about the apis azure sorry uh, api that is uh, azure uh, azure entra id <coughs> okay so i have already um, released these three videos if you haven't uh, watched this please go and watch now and today we'll be uh, starting the new module uh, uh, called uh, application lifecycle management for business central so if you have any queries related to your interview preparation um, uh, about any <coughs> technology what uh, career to choose and everything you know you can just schedule a call with me i'll be here that to help you you can find the link here okay link in the description and you can find the ebooks you can find the ebooks here in this particular uh, link even this link is there in the description so this is all about business central functional and technical developers so interview questions uh, 21 days boot camp and interview questions for functional interview questions for um, uh, technical uh, developers and everything will be here let us go to the topic today's topic <coughs> Uh, azure application management lifecycle that is we'll be using azure devops that is what i have mentioned here azure okay so what is this we are going to cover few important uh, key points like azure devops overview what is azure devops and al extension and azure devops we will also find the benefits of using azure devops economic aspects okay why should we go for azure devops evolution of azure devops and setting up azure devops so setting up azure devops will be like i'll just give you the theoretical overview the next part the next video i'll be showing you the demo here i'll also illustrate everything with an example okay so we are in the if you just click on uh, this particular link you know like um, use application so we are in the introduction part okay um then i'll show you how to create it okay so let us understand what is azure devops okay azure devops is basically an um, application lifecycle management usually we will call as alm this is what application lifecycle management <coughs> that helps to automate this will really helps to automate and manage the development process okay automate and manage the development process this offers this azure devops will offer version control okay if you are working with the project it will uh, help you with version control it will help you with project management okay and then it will help you with automated builds okay um, and then it will help you with the release management okay so this is what the overview of the azure devops so azure devops is not just for code management mm -hmm. but it also supports implementing development methodologies like scrum okay so you might have uh, heard about the scrum agile and everything so this also helps in that methodology then <coughs> the al extension and azure devops when working with the AL extension, which have a file based structure, so we'll be completely in our um, uh, in our um, um, business central, you know, we'll be working with what AL extension, right? Working with what AL extensions. 
so al extensions you know like it it is a file based structure so it has um, um, uh, um, app dot json launch dot json everything azure devops is essential for collaborating development so this azure devops uses jit jit control jit version control i hope you all might have heard about the jit for version control and it integrates with visual studio code for a seamless development experience then what are the benefits of using azure devops this the first and foremost um, um uh, the important thing is what it will uh, help for code reviews okay this will help for code reviews this is the this is the first one and the second important thing is what this code reviews and adherence to development standards that by improving overall code quality so improves code quality okay this is the another important thing and then um, talking about it allows the test automation okay so you can find that this also helps in uh, sorry test automation okay this also helps with the test automation and then it also builds process automation reducing manual effort and time this identifies issues early in the development cycle minimizing bugs and error before deployment so it will help to minimize bugs and errors so this is a very important part of and benefits of azure devops why should we go for the azure devops then the evolution of azure devops started as a team foundation server and evolved over time now better integrated with azure services offering a comprehensive tool set for the development teams and um we can find like how to uh, i'll just give you an example simple example okay imagine you are a part of a development team working on a new feature of, for a finance application using dynamic 365 business central to manage the team your team decides to use azure devops for a versatile capabilities so what are the capabilities the first one we call it as version control capabilities okay so you start by storing your al sources files in azure devops using jit for version control so al will be here you will be storing it in azure devops using what jit okay every team member can now contribute code with all changes tracked and easily reviewed so with this version control it will be you can easily review all the codes okay then the second important thing is for the scrum implementation your team adopts the scrum methodology for this project through azure devops you define sprints manage backlogs and plan tasks this keeps the project organized and scheduled the third important thing is what automated builds and test once the development reaches a stable state you set up automated builds and tests within azure devops this ensures that every code commit is automatically built and tested catching bugs early the fourth another um, important thing using the azure in your team is what code quality and reviews azure devops facilitates code review allowing team members to suggest improvements and ensure adherence to coding standards this collaborative effort enhances the quality for the of the final project then release management finally when the feature is ready you as you use azure devops to manage the release process ensuring that the new feature is smoothly integrated and developed to the finance application so this is the perfect example that you can showcase how azure devops supports various aspects of application life cycle management from planning and development to testing and release making it an invaluable tool for teams working with dynamic 365 business central so in the next video we will discuss about how to create azure devops for an organization the project this will be the demo i'll be showing you how you can create it okay so i'll see you soon in the next video so before that please re uh, read this uh, this particular thing as well okay so so far i have given you like what is the interactions though it is very short but i have given you the brief introduction about it so next is we will be understanding how to create an azure devops for your uh, azure devops organization so i'll meet you soon in the next video take care and bye bye